you know, it's very important that we have more women leaders uh, in public office as well as in appointed office. Now, you'll notice that I am neither a woman in public office nor a woman in appointed office, and currently I'm not a potential candidate for public office. However, I do work in the area of democracy, rights, and governance, and one of our areas uh, that we focus on is strengthening uh, women's voices and their abilities and their capacity uh, to run for public office, to uh, fill leadership positions in appointed office to ensure that women have their best shot at supporting us as we work to build a better world. I have thought about running for public office in the past. Uh, I actually did run as an independent candidate for local elections in 2019. 2016, sorry. So I ran four local elections in 2016 in my constituency. I come from a small village, uh, Craig. It's on the east bank of Demerara. So I ran in my constituency. Since then, I haven't been actively involved in running for any public office, and I have no plans to run for a public office. So I see myself as one of those resource points. I, I'm not necessarily an expert, but I do uh, have a lot of knowledge on running for campaigns now, thanks to TCS at Yale. But I also uh, am specializing in electoral policy and administration. So I come with about six years of experience working in international development. And I also come with experience volunteering in Guyanese civil society. And whatever knowledge that I've accrued until now, it's available to young leaders in Guyana, whether they're running for public office or they're interested in working on a campaign or they, they would just like to fine tune the skills that they already have in doing these things. My knowledge and skills are available to be shared. So that's the big dream. And if anybody who's listening uh, to this right now, if you think you can benefit from some of the knowledge I've acquired, reach out to me. Uh, and, and let's talk and let's see how I can ensure I share some of that knowledge with you, specifically when it comes to inspiring women uh, who may want to become political candidates or who may want to get into appointed office or who may want to work on political campaigns. And I'll be sure to find a way for us to get together and do some work and to build leadership and inspire more women leaders.